You run, you push, you squeal. But most importantly, you fall. Fall Guys is back in a big way, and I'm here to talk about it. First released in August of 2020, Fall Guys exploded onto the scene, being the most downloaded PlayStation Plus game ever. I remember catching wind of it back when it was first released, and I was hooked. It was super fun, super silly, and super good with friends. It felt like I was playing a version of Mario Party combined with Wipeout and Ninja Warrior. If you've never played Fall Guys, the game plays pretty simply. You are a bean man, and everyone else is too. You must win the games you're put in. If you make it to the end, you make it to the next round. If you don't, you're eliminated, and you have to try again in another game. Basically, think of a constant barrage of survival-style Mario Party minigames. You play minigames over and over again until you're the sole survivor. Sometimes you're put on a team and must work together to complete an objective, and the team that does the worst is eliminated. Games usually last around four or five rounds until one player remains, and then that one player wins a nice little crown to show that they're a real winner. Fall Guys was a blast for the first month. After that, the game started feeling very repetitive, and while I would still play occasionally, the game just wasn't as appealing after you've played through all the rounds. The game originally launched with only 25 minigames, and while they were very fun, the fun couldn't possibly last forever. Fall Guys continued to drip feed new minigames and introduce new elements to existing games, but it was very piecemeal. Even after the launch of Season 2 in October of 2020, I still wasn't feeling like playing through the levels I had gotten sick of just for a few new levels. So I shelved it. And then I waited. And I waited. And I waited some more. And then it was 2022. Fall Guys still existed in the back of my mind. But more like, uh, wow, remember when we played this fun game together? Why did we stop playing it? And then never opening the game. But then everything changed when Fall Guys went free to play. On June 21st, 2022, Fall Guys opened itself up for everyone. The $20 Fun Fest was now free to everyone on every platform. Originally, only on PlayStation and Steam, Xbox players and Switch players were now allowed to have fun with everyone else. And to add to that, you had true crossplay across every platform. Your friend has a Switch, and you a PlayStation? Doesn't matter, because Fall Guys will let you play together. There were no limits. There was one downside, however. Players on Steam were no longer able to purchase the game on Steam, and now had to download Epic Game Store if they were first-time players. This didn't affect anyone who had already purchased the game on Steam, only new players who had not yet tried Fall Guys. I am not super familiar with all the bad things Epic Games Store has done, but I do know there are people very adamant about never downloading that store. So I understand some people are upset about this. However, personally, it does not affect me at all. Fall Guys had been slowly improving itself over these past two years. The game now boasts 67 different minigames to play, a solid jump from the original 25. In addition, there are new limited time modes that cycle in and out periodically. And they're fun! They serve as a good way to break up the grind of making it to the final round every game only to lose your shot at a win. There's even a team-based playlist now. All team games, all the time. Which is great if you have three friends who also enjoy Fall Guys. But maybe not as great for a solo player. They did it! Going free-to-play had revitalized Fall Guys. They just hit 20 million players 48 hours after making it free-to-play. Suddenly, I'm seeing clips posted everywhere of the game. People are constantly talking about it online. 
All my friends are telling me to re-download it so we can run a few rounds. And re-download it I did. The new game modes are great. One of my new favorites is one I call the Sonic Run. It's basically a lapped race where you run as fast as you can and avoid obstacles while hitting speed boosts. And it's one of the only levels where I genuinely struggle to qualify. But that makes it more fun. The game can feel super chaotic and at times a bit unfair. But that's okay, because that's just the nature of the game. Sometimes the coin doesn't flip on the side you want it to. The gameplay makes for some of the most fun and entertaining gaming moments I've had with my friends in a long time. However, Fall Guys isn't perfect. I'm giving it a pretty glowing review and praising what a great decision it was to go free to play. But of course, there must be a reason for this decision. Opening up the game for everyone has opened a very dastardly way of making money. Skins. You get no in-game advantage to buying skins other than looking kind of funny, but some of these skins are very comical and may be tempting for people to spend their money on. This isn't the worst thing in the world, but it is a bit disappointing. Of course, there are skins you can purchase with in-game cash, but all the coolest skins are locked behind real cash, or the Battle Pass. The Battle Pass was introduced with free to play as well, but old returning players were gifted the Battle Pass for free, as a gift for coming back to the game. Originally, the best skins were locked behind crowns that you got for winning games. But now, I'm not exactly sure what crowns earn you in the game. Nevertheless, if you want to run around as Godzilla or The Undertaker, you're going to have to fork over at least $20. Overall, Fall Guys was a great game before going free to play. But this decision seems to be very, very good for keeping this game alive. Mediatonic has revived the interest in these silly little guys, and I am very interested in the future of this game. And that's it for this video. If you made it to the end, I ask that you subscribe, drop a like, and tell me what you think about Fall Guys. Have you tried it out now that it's free to play? Or were you originally a player when it first launched back in 2020? Until next time, see you later.